tracking performance of content groups within GA4. So hey, Lewis here. Um, I want to talk about GA4 and tracking content groups, which is important for large e-commerce websites with you know thousands of SKUs, if not hundreds of thousands of SKUs, to start to understand the performance um, of individual content groups. So GA4 now allows us to do that um, by tracking content groups. So what you can actually do is start to tag certain pages um, to start to build them topical clusters. Now, Google released that new document yesterday about news and topical clusters. And it just, it, it cements what they want, want wanting websites to do to build these topical clusters. Um, and this is, for me, a great feature where you can add individual pages, whether it's category level, product level, um, and start to categorize them pages and track that performance. Obviously, you know, with every website, you want to know how certain groups are doing. Um, even with articles, you know, top of the funnel content, middle of the funnel content, um, as I said, bottom of the funnel content, where we're tracking exactly what customers are coming in. So, for example, you know, if we, we have this website, we can start to, you know, if it's a certain, if it's a seasonal, if it's a seasonal topic, um, or if it's, you know, men's caps, women's caps, um, we can start to track how, how that um, category is performing, category of pages. So, you know, are people bouncing? Are we getting a lot of traffic to it? Is it our top um, performing category? Um, and then we can start to make calculated decisions on what we need to do as a brand to drive you know, more conversions um, to help traffic, um, to build our customer base. And that's what's important is, is looking at the angle of tracking it um, and then making them decisions as opposed to, you know, an individual page level, um, obviously GA3. So yeah, um, I just thought I'd I think it's a great feature. Um, I think every brand should be looking at, even with content, you know, just tracking. If we have different, sorry, my hair fever is killing me today. If we have the different um, category page levels in uh, blog content, you know, you can start to um, filter that and, tr and track that certain topic within GA4. Um, and as I, as I say, you know, it gives you that calculate decision to say, right, is this is this topic performing, or do we have another topic that we've tracked that's actually you know blowing all the rest of them out of the water? Um, so that's what we need to invest a little more time into, um, because that's the one that's actually performing what we didn't think was going to perform as well. Um, so yeah, awesome. Um, love to hear your, feed, your feedback on this in the comments. Um, I just think it's super important for topical authority, and it's what you know Google is pushing this year. Uh, you know, with generative AI, it wants um, resources that they can rely on. Um, that they can trust and you know doing this is just you you know you know from your data if your topic is performing you know as a brand you might think you know we're we're you know um, experts on this topic but from the data we're not getting traffic people not not responding well to that topic they're not converting there's no dwell time um so there's you know there's different variables to look at with it um but yeah you know, it's it gives you them variables and that's why it needs to be done. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. Thank you. Have a great day.